Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd uh, do a uh, video on some tips and tricks on how to blend different photographs together into a photo collage using Luminar Neo. Uh, so we're going to have some fun with this today and uh, we're going to start with this image. Uh, all of these images I got off of P Pixabay uh, and I've just picked some images and uh, messed around with them initially and then picked some that I thought would work uh, well together. Uh, so we're using this first photograph as a background. When you pick photographs to blend together into a collage, uh, one thing you need to look at is how well uh, they may work together. In other words, if they have similar colors, similar lighting, and and uh, and uh, sim similar textures, uh, and, and will they actually blend together well? Until you become more experienced, you m might mess with some things that you might think uh, this will work well, but they might not work as well uh, when you start to uh, blend them together. So you may have to choose another photograph to blend into the, the photograph. But we're going to use this background right here to start off with. And uh, we're going to do something uh, should be just a little bit of fun here. And take this image here. Let's turn the opacity up. And um, I'm going to go to masking here. This guy's sitting here on this car. And um, I'm going to go mask AI. And I'm going to click, it gives you all these choices here. And I'm going to click human. Now in this case, it takes him and part of the car with it. Um, I could also click on transport to see if it will bring in more of the car. And it does bring in a little bit more of the car. If I take transport out, it actually takes all of that out. So let's reset this and let's go back to properties, bring the opacity back. So you can mess around with different combinations of this stuff. I'm going to go back to human. I actually kind of like this, the way it cuts it out because it's relatively clean. And I think we can blend this in pretty well right here like this. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks. So first off, we're going to go up here and grab this photograph and move it around and I think if we uh, put it down like that try to get it to blend a little bit into this tree right here and um, it's not perfect by any means but it's it's a good start. Now there's some some grass back here in these windows, and it kind of blends in with the picture. It's it's not really uh, that noticeable. If we move this around, you can see there's grass through there. Uh, but it works with this picture like that. One thing we could do is we could use the masking brush and take that out so you could see through the window and see this building. But I'm not going to bother to do that because it's 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 not notice it, it blends in pretty well so the key is is to to blend the photograph in as well as you can in your collage or or, or to make it so that it looks like there's a, either a smooth transition or it kind of covers up exactly where the transition is so we're going to go back and um you can see right here, this is a little bit dark. I want to bring this foliage out a little bit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use Relight on this. And I'm going to uh, bring it up. And if, see how that, oh, we don't want it on there. 
we want to make sure we select the base le- le- lever because it, level because um, whatever you select it will work on. So so I I picked the wrong thing, but uh, let's go back here and we're going to go to near brightness. And you can see I like the way it's kind of lit up. this foliage and gave it a little more detail so I'm going to leave that but the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into into the mask here and I'm going to go to the brush and I am going to erase some of the mask here in fact let's bring the size down of this brush because I want to take this gargoyle out and this foreground out because I don't want this uh, lightened up. So that works pretty good uh, for me in this. So if we uh, just take everything out, you can see how it just has in some stuff up here particularly this foliage so you can work on little details like that and we still have an area right here where it actually kind of blends pretty well uh, because we've put this next to this these trees here and it kind of looks like maybe the trees are covering up part of this but the trees are really in the background so another trick we can do is we've got the two photographs on their two different layers and they're blended together but we can actually put a third layer in and bring in something that's uh, green let's hold shift and reduce the size of this Now what we want to do is we want to go to masking and brush. We're going to go erase. And I'm not trying to get this perfect right now. I'm just roughing it out. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring this down. And maybe just reduce it a little bit. The reason we roughed out the edges is primarily um, so that we could fit the piece in. And so then if we, we uh, go in, we can go back now and go back to masking go back to the brush we're going to go erase again fit back to screen and so we can mess with this and refine it as we want but we can actually what we can do is actually take just a small section of a picture that has the color and texture in it uh, of, a, of a plant and actually bring it up forward as though this is another plant growing right here and uh, that blends in a little bit better 
or it covers up some stuff. Problem is, is I think this is a little bit too light. It, it, it stands out too much. So what we can actually do is we can go to the develop module and we can bring down the exposure. Or we can actually bring down the shadows and the highlights some first. So we can mess with any of those things and then just bring it down. And we'll make it a little bit lighter but it, it brings it down so it's not as intense. So it's covering up some of uh, the area there where it's not perfectly blended. So it looks, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good there. Um, there's a little bit of green right here. We might try taking that off. A little bit of the corner still existing there, so we can refine it a little bit more. And we can actually, because of the this is foliage, you can get away with kind of almost trimming it off. You've got to be a little bit careful depending on the texture of the foliage. You can get away with trimming the edges a little bit to make it blend a little more. And that looks pretty good right there. We're not spending time to make it absolutely perfect. So this is just to give you an idea of some of the stuff you can do by using multiple layers and even adding layers on that have textures and objects in them that can be used to kind of uh, mask over or help blend the layers even better. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.